A couple of days ago, I showed off my class of search, which I might as well have called Googler, but I don't because it has more than just Google and you can easily add more. Nevertheless, it has a bunch of stuff that does the actual Googling and uh, validating your search by replacing special characters, all that. But a big part of this was getting the input. This box that you have, type in your input and it does something. So I created it just for this. However, it's really nice to have this. Hold on. Alright, fixed. Don't worry about it. We'll get to what I just fixed though in a moment. So I have this internet search and now instead of creating this input box you can see that there is a class now clean input box so class internet search extends clean input box before we get to how it's used in this class I will show off what it actually is so all the create create GUI, create input box, uh, set hotkeys, and all that is now implemented here. So there's the width and top margin. Uh, we create a new GUI that is dark mode. We make font nicer. It's in my GUI library. Uh, that, and then that, 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 that. And most importantly, there is an input mm, property which starts out being nothing and also is waiting true. So when you create the class, it's waiting for you to type in the input and press enter so it gets returned. That's important in the implementation that I just fixed. Then we register hotkeys, meaning the enter hotkey and the on event of escape. And this show, just make sure uh, it's shown correctly, uh, making it as wide as I want to and as top margined as I want to, sure. So when you call show, for whatever reason, you shouldn't uh, because it gets called by other things that you use, um, which is wait for input. But if you do, it will still be shown correctly. So maybe you don't want to just wait for input Maybe you want to use this somehow differently. Uh, there is implementation for you to be able to do that. So essentially you create an instance of clean input box and let me show you. Um, okay. <laughs> so you do clean input box, you create an instance by just brackets and then you call wait for input. This command, this statement, will occupy the thread until you press enter and get what you want. Like, put in the input, press enter. After that, it will go on to the next line and do everything else. So wait for input is a really nice way to occupy the thread which is what you want because otherwise you would just create this input box and then continue on doing everything else uh, before you even typed in anything which is obviously not what you want so wait for input while it's waiting while it's true and it starts out being true do nothing essentially occupy the thread for no reason uh, and when it's not waiting, return the input. So by default, it's nothing. If we cancel, meaning if we press escape while, uh, so we typed in something, we press escape, that does set cancel. At send cancel, sets is waiting to false so that loop gets broken out of and returns this input which is an empty string which is false we'll get to why that's useful 
and after it sets is waiting to false, it does finish. Finish disables the hotkey of enter, minimizes the GUI, which I explained uh, why you should do in video that is going to pop up in the top right right now, and then super destroy. I'm telling you, this is anime. Sometimes programming is just way too epic. Seriously? Super destroy? What could be cooler than that? Uh, I did mention what super does um, in my 45 minute video on classes. But essentially, since we're extending this class from GUI, we call the destroy method of GUI. Uh, this would be the same exact thing. The reason why I had super on this is because finish used to be called destroy. But I like finish more, I guess. Uh, because if it was called destroy, then this line would call this method uh, infinitely and you would get a stack overflow error. However, if you use super instead, you make sure that you call the upper classes uh, method. So not this class, no, you're calling GUIs destroy. So that's the difference. But if it's not called destroy, uh, but finish like it used to, then you can just use this. So here's an, a little example of super and why it's useful. So yeah, however, if we type in our thing and press enter, set input. Set input sets the input property, what we set to an empty string at first to the text of the input field. Reason why we're doing this wacky thing is uh, because if a GUI is destroyed and you try to get the text of its input field, you won't get it. Uh, however, if it's in an input, so if, a, if it's in a separate variable that is not connected to the GUI window, then you won't get that error. Maybe in this specific situation, this doesn't apply and it wouldn't be an issue. However, uh, using this input rather than this always, in my opinion, is easier to work with. And then it also sets is waiting to false, breaking out of this loop, and finish. We already went over what finish does. Uh, so, wait input either returns the input that you put in and pressed enter, or returns an empty string, which is false, if you press escape, or if you didn't type in anything and press enter. It would do the same thing, because it would continue being an empty string being false. Uh, so, coming back to internet search, we extend, uh, internet search extends clean input box, meaning we can use super to call the new method of clean input box, and let's open it to the side. So, essentially, we're calling this by calling, calling it with super. Once again, if we used this, we would call this method infinitely. That's where we're using super instead. And we set the selected engine as we used to, nothing new there. Uh, so now we still have the ability to feed query, meaning to give it the input directly without calling this input box. In case you have something else that you use, like your personal runner, and you want to implement uh, the search class into it, and you don't want to have an extra input box, you can have that by just using feed query. However, it doesn't dynamically reselect engine, meaning uh, 
uh, you're here and you want to search for YouTube, you can type Y and space. And here this is this nickname. Uh, if you're using feed query, that doesn't get done. Why did I make that decision? Because, well, you do uh, internet search in internet search uh, and you specify your search engine here so say you want to uh, use Yandex and then feed query uh, your input which which you get from somewhere well you specified it here it would be kind of ridi ridiculous uh, or rather not needed for you to change it if you already have the input not sure how to properly explain this but uh, if you're using this in code rather than via typing in in the classes input box you don't need those however if you wanted to you could uh, implement it back I just think it's uh, useless in this situation but what you usually call is trigger search which does which does give you this input box so super wait for input oh my god that actually reminds me of Frankie from one piece oh my god super yeah amazing keyword I love it so you wait for input and you assign it to the input variable if it's false we doesn't we don't continue but if it's true then we do everything else so dynamically reselect engine here we go have the query we fit it to feed query uh, yeah and we do everything else which I already shown off uh, so that's quite nice we just easily implemented a class to not have to reinvent the wheel it's amazing and the reason why I separated it into a class is because I didn't like the way my runner was kind of small and somewhat hard to read. So now my runner is this window as well. Let me show it off. Uh, see, that's literally it. However, I forgot to take care of the possible false input because before I tried uh, what is it clean input box yeah because before I didn't have this is waiting and all that as you can see by my changes because I actually tried using exit exits uh, exits the entire thread which is essentially what I'm doing with return but I'm doing this on a higher level so I thought hmm what if I could just exit the entire thread and not worry about it turns out that it doesn't work like I expected to I think it's disabled my hotkeys so say I I have a hotkey Windows B to get the internet search so I do this type something in ah, I don't want it I press escape and then I do it again if I when I used exit this window didn't reappear the second time apparently because of exit so using it wasn't particularly mm, any moment now all right, yeah, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> uh, clean input box, yes. So, exit wasn't the case. I thought I found a use for it, but no, unfortunately. So that's why I'm using this kind of wacky method, which works really well though. So yeah, now the runner, it used to be a whole bunch of lines here and then it encompassed all of these into a function object like bleh. now I just get the input and and run this and it looks far cleaner so it's really easy to implement it's literally three lines um, 
I mean less if you wanted to. So, I didn't make this class for the internet search or for the runner. Matter of fact, I was making something even greater, much greater. And I needed to have a way to type some input. And that's why I made this class. What am I talking about? It's on the top. You're currently seeing it, but I'm not going to show it off just yet. It's going to be in the video next after the next. Basically, in two days. Wait for it, because that one is going to be amazing. Goodbye.